very happy to invite you all for the second alternative and quant investing summit when growth is doing well if your portfolio is going to remain in bad drawdown do you have the patience to really hold it back and get the returns right we should not mistake any of these factors for giving injury free excess returns it's not really so if you look at the history of these factors particularly momentum of value in the last seven decades there are a lot of situations in which you know value had been in real bad drawdown or the yeah. value became value trap rather than being value itself i'm quite paranoid about this whole thing that my data has an error because once you unleash your algorithm it's going to hug it i don't want to wake up at 2:30 in the morning and go like did i have an error in that it's extremely important but most people don't really pay attention to it because maybe they've not seen how how horribly it goes wrong once it goes wrong in live markets even if the monthly returns are same as quarterly returns i would never be comfortable uh doing the quarterly rebalance the strategy has to suit your personality mm-hmm. like i cannot just sit looking at a crash and not do anything for an entire quarter one aspect of industrial housing i would add that the demand is captured or demand ability to pay is constant so this is solved by providing a capital subsidy uh, which uh, brings in affordability or uh, providing us uh, equity support or a hybrid uh, support which uh, we provide capital subsidy is provided by the government of uh, state or the government of india there are students from different strata of the society uh, there are private universities and there are public universities as well globally in public university hostels are commercial and these are run typically by funds and uh, by private sector and not by the university itself but to what extent we will be able to implement those kind of uh, uh, changes in the indian ecosystem is something which we will have to closely evaluate the society as such has become very mobile a lot of people are moving for the purpose of education from their hometown to a different town and a lot of people are moving from their hometown to a different town for the purpose of employment as well as long as this is continuing to be the requirement that the society or that particular strata of age group let's say between 18 and 30 is a mobile crowd co-living student housing will continue to be a requirement